I'm probably more likely to approach someone who's pretty, truthfully. Because if you're like not attractive or whatever, no one will talk to you. And if you are attractive, um, then people will like stop by and help you out if you need help. I feel self-conscious in bathing suit because like people call me anorexic and um, it just bugs me because like oh, I'm kind of skinny and then I'm just like I'm naturally skinny and then I wear a bathing suit and just like all like nothing's filling out anything. If your hair is not right, I'm going to get it's always about weight. Beauty is something that comes from the inside. I think beauty um, comes from the outside and the inside. What is inside of you, most people think that it's what you look like on the outside, but <laughs> it has a lot to do with what's inside. Your personality. For everyone, it's something different. I guess you have to have like inner beauty to show your physical beauty, like have confidence in yourself. It's really hard to define what beauty is. Magazine beauty is kind of what's coming from the outside, which is what you're wearing or what you look like. Magazines portray like people being really skinny and they're perfect. They have no imperfections. Their skin's flawless. They're always, there's nothing wrong with them. They're always wearing perfect clothes. Their nails are always done. Their makeup's always done. Tall, skinny, long, beautiful hair, a lot of makeup. You don't look old, or you don't look too young. Like, thin and, like, big boobs. The perfect Barbie doll look. Slip away across the universe Pools of sorrow, waves of joy Are drifting through my open mind Possessing and caressing me Inside a letterbox They 
tumble blindly as they make their way across the universe. Jack A woman is all about lips. And you make it last enduring lip color. It lasts for eight hours. It's supermodel tested. It's sexy. You can eat with it. You can kiss. Enduring lip color stays on for eight hours. Because Victoria's Secret understands what makes a woman sexy. The new Victoria's Secret lipstick can make it last. Now what does this commercial tell you? That lipstick is sexy? No. That you need lipstick to look better. Do you really? Women are used by companies to sell products. Like pizza, for example. Cameras. Cigarettes. Drinks. Fanta. Hospitals. Internet service. Mascara. One hour photo. Phones, shoes, vacations, watches, wine, yogurt, potato chips, women and men's perfume, and even men's deodorant. Women are also used to sell clothing, and in a few popular clothing stores, workers have been observed as having a beachy beautiful name. Show me the doll that you like best or that you'd like to play with. This one. I like that one. I can This one. That one? This one. I like to play with this. And can you show me the doll that is the nice doll? And why is that the nice doll? She's white. And can you show me the doll that looks bad? Okay. And can you give... And why does that look bad? Because it's black. And why do you think that's a nice doll? Because she's white. And can you give me the doll that looks like you? So it really doesn't matter if you're black or white, Hispanic, Indian, Middle Eastern or Asian. There is a powerful message in that doll test for all of us that we are really raising a generation of children who still are in 2007 ashamed of the way they look. Plastic surgery, if it's for medical reasons, like if you got hit in the face with a soccer ball, it's not a medical reason, but if your nose is broken, you got plastic surgery, like, to kind of fix it, and that'd be fine, but plastic surgery, like, I don't know, like, boob implants, it's kind of weird. I think it's unnecessary, as, as, like, if it's, like, breast implants or liposuction, that's not, if you want something... You should be happy how you are. If you're overweight, you should just go to the gym and do it the healthy way and work out and eat right. Don't just have a doctor solve it for you. I think girls are obsessed with what they look like. Like, I know some people who spend, like, three hours getting ready for school and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy because I just, like, 
wake up at like 7.20, just get dressed and go to school? Uh, I don't know. It depends on the girl, I guess. Uh, yes, a little bit. They're always coordinating what they wear with other people, just trying to they always go shopping and buying new clothes and... Nothing more than a bit too far 